Kang Ho Sun, born October 10, 1969, is a South Korean serial killer who was sentenced to death in 2010 for killing 10 women, including his wife and mother in law. The murders he committed took place in Anson, Jiangi Province. His first victim was Bae, a 45 year old karaoke bar employee. Then there followed three murders in 2007, including a 48 year old housewife and a 21 year old student from Suwon. Their decomposing bodies were later discovered in the woods. Kong was arrested by the police in 2009 and following the two day investigation that ensued, he confessed up to 10 murders. More victim remains have been discovered since and identified by using DNA evidence. The families of the victims sued Kong for the loss, the grief, and the general damages. His crimes were also depicted in 2022 South Korean TV series, Through the Darkness. We have to give a note that this is perhaps dramatized but very well portrayed. How could a man commit such heinous crimes without feeling any guilt or remorse? That's a question that haunts most people. Many experts agree that he is a psychopath, meaning a mentally ill or unstable person, especially a person affected with antisocial personality disorder. The psychopath is defined by a psychological gratification in criminal, sexual, or aggressive impulses and the inability to learn from past mistakes. Individuals with this disorder gain satisfaction through their antisocial behavior and lack remorse for their actions, according to the experts. Regarding the motivation behind the killings, Kong has told the police that he felt dejected by the death of his fourth wife in a fire in 2005 and wandered around the nation for a year. He then began to feel the urge to kill any woman he saw. After the first killing, he said he could not control the desire to kill repeatedly. Experts said that his remarks were insufficient to explain all of the killings. They tend to say he may not be a typical psychopath. Psychopaths lack the ability to sympathize, so do not understand how others feel. They are self-centered and frequently lie, and they do not feel guilty or responsible for any of their actions, according to Kim sang Jiun, a professor at Beksuk University. Other serial killers in recent years, for example Yu Young Chol who killed 20 and Ter is Jong Nam Kyu who murdered 13 people. They were also classified as psychopaths as they did not regret their acts, and both said they would have killed more people if they had not been caught, Kim said. Psychopathic killers usually become bolder and crueler as they commit more murders, according to Kim. Like ordinary murderers, they are surprised at their behavior in their first killing but feel pleasure at the same time. It is like an addiction to a drug you keep taking bigger doses than the previous one. Such serial killers want greater satisfaction and pleasure, so they take bolder and more brutal methods for their next killing, for more excitement and thrills, he said. There are various theories about why such people develop such a disorder and the motive to kill. In many cases, psychopaths have hostility towards society due to poverty, childhood abuse, or domestic troubles. But Kong neither had a grudge against society, nor was he an isolated person. Kong seems to cling to a sexual desire, as he kidnapped the women to rape them. We don't know yet, but there may be a trigger which made him express the desire through serial killing, experts said. According to Lee Young Hyok, professor at the Korea National Police University, some researchers say psychopaths are inborn criminals, meaning they were born with violent inclinations, because many of them have an abnormal frontal lobe or lack certain hormones. Lee pointed out social changes behind the emergence of such psychopaths. The United States had a significantly large number of serial murders and other abnormal crimes in the early 1970s, while it is happening these days in Korea. When we look for something common between the two periods, we found it was a time when social norms were changing quickly and also a time when family breakdowns occurred a lot. Lee also said not all psychopaths become criminals. There are successful professionals who have psychopathic inclinations. People with such a personality can become great figures if they find the right jobs. Including top competent leaders, artists, or anatomists, if the inclination is controlled in a good environment. Experts say it is not easy to prevent psychopathic acts and crimes. Those people are likely to repeat their crimes or commit more brutal crimes. When the authorities classify criminals in prison, they are advised to do so more strictly, so that they can provide them with mental treatment, according to Lee. Over the long term, Lee said affection in childhood is important, so the nation should prepare a child welfare system.
I see many children stick to computer games and improper online materials without parental supervision. If they develop a psychopathic personality and face frustration and cold treatment from society, who can be sure that they will not become serial killers? Upon confessing to murdering ten women, Kong was found guilty of rape, murder, and arson and was sentenced to death by a court in Anson on April 22, 2009. While death by hanging remains on South Korea's statute books, an informal moratorium on the Korean death sentence has been in place since 1997. His confirmed victims are Kang's wife, she was 29, and his mother-in-law she was 60, on October 30, 2005. Second victim Yoon Young hyun she was 23, killed on September 7, 2006. Third victim was Bae Kyung-mi, 45 years old and employed at a karaoke bar in Gunpo, she was killed on December 14, 2006. Fourth confirmed victim was Park Sung-a, 37 years old and employed at a karaoke bar in Suwon, she was killed on December 24, 2006. Fifth victim was Park Young ja 52 years of age and she was an office employee at Weizong, and killed on January 3, 2007. Sixth victim Kim Hae Young, she was 37, and she was employed in a karaoke bar in Anyang, tragically killed on January 6, 2007. Seventh confirmed victim was Yun Mi Young, 21 years old, she was an university student in Suwon, and killed on January 7, 2007. The eighth victim Kim Soo Hee was 48 years old and she was a housewife in Suwon, she was killed on November 9, 2008. Victim 9 is named on Young Ok and she was 19 years of age, and an university student in Anson, she was killed on December 19, 2008. What also brought a lot of heat was the day that serial killer Kang Ho Sun reenacted more of his self confessed crimes in southern Jiangi province. Police tried to calm the mob of angry citizens who gathered at the scenes. Kong wore a sports cap and kept his face invisible using the hood of his jacket, which with or without intent his eyes looked large and were surrounded by dark shadows. Although he didn't wear a mask, he was able to hide most of his face. Journalists persistently asked him to speak to the victims and their families, to which Kong silently mumbled, I'm sorry. From early morning until six in the early evening Kong and the police visited locations in Gunpo. Suwon and Weizong to reenact several of his crimes. Around half two in the afternoon he showed how he lured a 36-year-old karaoke bar employee into his car on Christmas Eve in 2006 in Suwon. Then he showed the police how he strangled the victim with stockings on a road near Baibong Interchange. He also reenacted how he buried the victim on a deserted hill. During the reenactment, some angry individuals at the scene shouted curses while others sighed. Some yelled, take his hat off, while others shouted, kill him, kill him. You won't be able to imagine how angry and scared I am, said Yun Yu Jiam now 80 years old, adding that she lives near the crime scenes where Kong killed three of his seven victims. She refrained, I could kill him right now. Yumi Jiang, 54, who said she does work at a karaoke in one of the victims' neighborhood, she said the suspect's identity should be made public. I could have been killed, so I want to see his face is what she said. Only a few defended the suspect's choice to hide his face. A neighbor of Kong said, if he did not have any family, he deserves to pay for it, but think about his two children. Kong was quoted by police as saying he stopped committing crimes because of media reports and a tightened investigation, but police said neighbors testified that he frequently visited Kongwon province during that time. To this day he is on death row but as earlier stated it is more likely he will be in prison for the rest of his life. Thanks for watching. The next upload will be great, a top 3 hedonistic killers, what a word, it means those who kill with a sexually oriented motive. Hit the bell and turn on all notifications to not miss any uploads, and while you're at it smash that subscribe button and give us a like as well. Stay tuned.